Salam and good day. So today I'll be sharing on how you can uh, link your OneDrive uh, files that you access either uh, to a web browser, okay, cloud, and how you can make a link and access to your PC locally. Now I've been using OneDrive uh, UTEM or OneDrive UTEM for about ten years, and early on there were some difficulties, but uh, through updates and research and perseverance using the OneDrive myself. And I've uh, come to uh, it's very uh, dispensable uh, when for our work. Okay, so um, uh, first let's begin. Okay, so you see here this is uh, the normal interface uh, that you see when you log into our uh, UTEM, uh, log into our web browser. Either uh, either you see this uh, interface or uh, if normally you start off with our email, and then you can start with this. We'll start looking at this. Uh, this interface here which is our email regardless so so how do you access your OneDrive okay <clears throat> each of us actually each staff has uh, total about five terabyte of storage okay and to access it you can do using uh, click in the app launcher here let me close this one this first using the app launcher here you click here and it will show you some options apps that is available for our uh, UTEM Office 365 uh, subscription so if you click OneDrive here okay, we can already open uh, here I show you if I click here and you can see this is the uh, all the files that I've been using okay for the past uh, since I uh, uh, about 10 uh, total service in UTEM so there's about uh, more uh, I can't even recall, uh, but it's close to about 400, uh, 450 gigabytes of storage I've been used. And to give you perspective, that is about uh, 10 years of work, uh, including uh, I've up, uh, recently uploaded about 3 years back uh, all the photos uh, from the phone that I've switched from using Google uh, Google Drive to OneDrive. So because Google, uh, they don't upload your photos in full size, they would uh, scale it back. But in OneDrive, you can upload your full uh, photos about five uh, megabyte average per photo. So it's a lot of storage. So I'll show you. So we have, like you can see here, about five terabyte okay, of storage that uh, Office 365 subscription give to UTEM. And I've only about using uh, almost 461, about more than 450 uh, gigabyte of storage. Okay. So this five terabyte is uh, shared with all uh, the sh our SharePoint. OneDrive also our email storage okay so how do we access uh, so you see here there is a lot I have a lot of files uh, in, in cloud okay all of these files are in cloud okay actually uh, I've gone back and forth okay locally in my local PC so I have, this is all of it uh, that is in cloud okay so how do you access it so you go to your start button here so and then you search for OneDrive Okay. So you see there's there's two uh, types of app, uh, OneDrive, uh, just OneDrive and one, another one is OneDrive for Business. And I recommend using OneDrive because uh, as I mentioned uh, when I started using OneDrive, uh, the uh, cloud storage for uh, that you can provide it. Okay, uh, there were a lot of difficulties with OneDrive for Business because uh, often times it would crash and then sometimes the synchronization would would not be uh, would not up to date when we when I work between different uh, PCs, okay. But I found out uh, through uh, reading, okay, through research, and then found that uh, OneDrive is much more stable and it has very good uh, response and synchronizing with our files. So I recommend using OneDrive. If you have, uh, if you using Windows 10, uh, OneDrive app is uh, is available by default okay, with the operating system. If you're using uh, Windows 7, you have to download it. Okay, through the Microsoft website, uh, but you have if you have uh, installed Microsoft Office by default, you should have at least OneDrive for Business. But again, I would recommend using uh, just the OneDrive app, not the OneDrive for Business. So just click, you can click here. So it'll come up with this uh, menu, come up with this menu asking you to set up your OneDrive. Actually, I have previously set up OneDrive in my PC here, but uh, for showing the guide on how to set up your OneDrive so I, uh, yeah, I mean unlink it and then show you how you can link it again okay so then just 
type in your email, UTM email, and sign in. So this uh, this menu normally, uh, if you don't have, if you don't actually create a personal email using our UTM email, it won't come up here. Uh, but you uh, because like myself, I, I actually made two uh, emails, uh, sort of two from the same email account. Okay, I create a sort of a two types of one is a personal and then one is a school, which is our uh, UTEM uh, work email. So from here, use uh, choose the work or school email. So then, then it will, it will suggest okay at first we wonderful so you can access them from uh, it will ask here. So by default, okay, this is the default uh, suggested uh, folder that will be location. Okay, you can change the location. Okay, actually, uh, I'm not using our the default at uh, C folder. Okay, by default, it will, it will suggest at this folder, but you can change. So I'm changing the location. Actually, I have a, a more a larger storage because my C is actually just a small about 200. Uh, 40 gigabyte of storage okay but, but the C is more about more than uh, about 500 gigabyte half a terabyte okay so this is where I locate my so choose here folder so it, it says that a OneDrive because I previously have had uh, installed it uh, and already uh, synchronized all the files from my OneDrive here cloud to this PC so if you are if you've never been using so you it won't come up with this uh, option if you have then this option will be uh, will come up okay so i just uh, use this folder if you if you if you don't want to use another storage you can just use this for storage up to you i suggest because you know, through the years probably you'll be using onedrive frequently and your storage uh, your usage could increase uh, through the years so i suggest you put a location where uh, your storage would be much higher and we won't uh, you won't uh, interfere with your operating system for example if you put in c because c is uh, uh, i mean new, newer laptops normally they put the uh, the, the using a solid state drive usually about 240 gigabytes so it's much the storage much lower and they have sort of a the a secondary hard drive which is a normal uh, tape drive which uh, hard disk drive uh, that would be about uh, only 500 gigabyte or one terabyte of storage so you can use that to store your files there and your your the default uh, windows c uh, drive would be uh, more suitable for uh, installing programs okay and your apps okay so i use this folder then next and at the same time you see the icon the blue color icon would on your test bar okay okay so it suggests if you want to back up your folders your uh, desktop documents which is uh, entirely up to you okay i don't choose to back up all this on my pc okay, i just normally uh, uh, just leave it uh, just i want to just synchronize with my uh, with my uh, one drive in you can skip and then you can next then it shows how you can share or edit your files next so and then this is the the icons that you'll be uh, that you have to uh, that you need to uh, know okay if the file is online only it's not available in your um, pc or uh, have a sort of a cloud icon or over it if it's on this device then it will be like a, a green uh, i mean a circle green circle with a uh, uh, with a uh, green tick inside if the file is you want it always available uh, in your pc uh, all the time so then uh, you have a, a field green circle with a white tick so this is yes you, you're uh, getting the mobile app so you can uh, later on download it to your phone okay mobile device and then says your onedrive is ready for you so then when i click on open my onedrive folder so now it's available in my PC. You see here. Okay. If I switch to so you see all of these files are available. 
so that is all so thank you very much for your uh, for looking at my video okay if you enjoy it so like and subscribe and uh, comment if you have a, any questions on the thank you very much